All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to decide if a function is even or odd. All right, even function means that a graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, okay, the vertical axis. You can fold on the vertical axis, and they reflect one another, like they look the same, think of a butterfly, then they, it is considered an even function. So what's happening with the points there is for an xy coordinate, let's say xy coordinates <clears throat> over here, for it to be an even function, that means the reflection of that is also true on that on that line, wherever the line is going. So if you think about the coordinates, the x value goes from being positive to negative, but the y value remains the same. So you want to keep this in mind. So if I give you a point and say what would what would the point be on an even function? this, you would know you need to change the, the sign of the x but leave the y alone. Now, even functions can shift vertically and still be even. So look at this example right here. This is even. All right, if I take this function and I move it up, then it begins to look like this, right? I scooched it up. It's still even. If I fold along the y-axis, it's still symmetric. The, the two sides are equal, like a butterfly. Same thing here. This is symmetric to the y-axis. It's an absolute value graph. Both sides look the same. So it is an even function. Same thing here. This is even. This is even. This is. This is. Now, what happens though, if I take this function right here and I move it left and right? So if I move it like over here to the right, notice if I fold on the y-axis, there's nothing over here to mirror. There's nothing in this quadrant to mirror that curve. So it's no longer an even function. So what you need to catch from this is that you can shift an even function vertically and it's still even, but you cannot shift an even function horizontally and it will to keep it remaining even. Okay, hope that makes sense. All right, odd functions. So odd functions are symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay, if you're not familiar with the origin is, that's the zero, zero point. So as far as folding, I always say if you can fold it vertically across the vertical and the horizontal and they match, then it would work. Now, so if you visually can fold it two ways, or two times, vertical and horizontal, and then the two sides match, it is odd. So look at this first graph right here, it's a cubic function. If I fold it vertically and then fold it down, those two curves would match. So this is an odd function. Over here, this guy right here, it is also odd. Think about it. Okay, so on this guy, um, this time I would fold it vertically this direction, and then fold it down, and it would work. If I go the other direction, it wouldn't work. But if I can fold it either way and it works, then it is, it is an odd function. So that is an odd function. Now, what's happening with the points? Like if I have a point right here and a point right here, what's the difference in those coordinates? Here's an xy value, here's an xy value, right? Okay, so if this is xy, we know quadrant one is xy, then this point down here is negative x and negative y. All that's changing is the sign. Okay, what else could happen? Well, you could have a positive x and a negative y. You could have a positive x and a negative y. Start here. And it's a point when you fold and fold, it would then be a negative x and a positive y. Kind of you get the idea? Or if it's negative, negative down here, you fold and you fold it becomes positive, positive, okay? So write these down in your notes, kind of get the idea of what's happening with your point. So no matter what the point is, if it's an odd function, then its xy coordinate with both of the signs change will also fall on that line. So some non-examples, look at this guy. He's curved, if I fold this way and I fold down, or either way, um, it's not gonna match, okay? There's no symmetry to the origin, so this is, this is not an odd function, no good. Same thing here, it's a cubic function, yes, but see how it's shifted down, it's no longer at the origin. So if I fold along the axis, it's never it's no longer going to match anymore. So that it's an it's not an odd function. Now there's an algebraic test for even and odd functions. So if you don't have a graph, you can figure this out algebraically, which you will need to be able to do. Alright, so here's the rule of thumb. If if a function is even, then if you take the function and you put in a negative x and then you simplify the function, it will come out looking like the original 
f of x. All right? If a function is odd, then if you put a negative value in for x, then what happens and you, when you clean it up algebraically, it's going to come out being a negative version of that same equation. All right? So let's try this out. So you need to look at these and decide, okay, even or odd, and which test am I going to use? So looking at this guy, it appears, see how that 3 is right there? It appears that this may be an odd function. So I would start with the odd test, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite this whole thing with a negative x. So I'm going to do negative x, and I'm going to cube it, minus a negative x, okay? And then i got to clean this guy up. So when I do it, I get... So a negative times a negative times a negative is still a negative. So it's negative x cubed. Negative times a positive is going to make that plus x. Right? Now, we're looking to see, is it negative of the function? Well, can I factor out a negative out of this? Let's just see. If I factor out a negative here, I get x cubed. If I factor out a negative here, I get negative x. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Isn't this the original function, and here's the negative sign? Isn't that what we said it should be? Yes. So because we've done this, what we've, what we've proven is that it is negative g of x. g of negative x is equal to negative g of x, All right? So that's how we do it algebraically. Let's try some more. All right, on this, same idea. We're going to determine whether it's even, odd, or neither. So here's our little test. I put them over here. You need to learn these. You need to memorize these. So looking at my function, I first want to decide which test do I want to run, even or odd. Well, there's a squared right there. So I'm guessing it's probably even because it's an even exponent. Now, that's not always the case, but that's a fair shot at figuring out your test. Okay, so I'm going to try and see if this even test works. So I'm going to take h of negative x, and I'm going to plug in negative x and see what happens. Okay, h of negative x is going to come out. Well, what's a negative times a negative? When you square it, you get a positive. So you have x squared plus 1. Well, h of negative x x squared plus 1 is the original function, right? So we can say h of x. So we, now we've proven that h of negative x is equal to h of x. That is what had to happen for this to be an even function. Okay? All right, example 3. Determine whether the function is even, odd, or neither. All right, so first of all, let's look at this. What would you guess? Well, odd exponent, let's test for odd. Okay? So if we test for odd, I'm going to do f of negative x, negative x cubed minus 1, all right, f of negative x, negative times a negative times a negative is still negative, but now x is cubed, parentheses are gone, and it's minus 1. So we tried this before, we factored out a negative to see if it comes out to the original function. So let's see, I take a negative out, negative 1, I'm left with x cubed, and this becomes a plus 1. Hmm, this is not the original function, so it's not, it's not negative f of x. So because it did not fit the criteria, it is not odd. Okay, so we would say that this one is neither. All right, um, that, that minus 1 right there is what's kind of throwing you off. All right, so look over those examples. Um, ask questions in class, make sure you do your homework, and we'll see you then.